Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Title Minute. Today, we're going to be talking about something called an uninsured deed, which comes up during the escrow process on either a purchase or a refi on the chain of title. Now, an uninsured deed is a common encumbrance that shows up on a title report during the escrow process. What an uninsured deed is, it's a deed, a grant deed, a quit claim deed, something like that, that has been recorded on the chain of title to real property without title insurance. So some examples of an uninsured deed could be uh, changing the property from your name into a trust, changing the property from a trust into your name, adding a husband, a sister, a brother, a parent. Anytime that there's a change on the title without title insurance, it's called an uninsured deed. Now, an uninsured deed is actually something that we have to verify as part of the escrow and curative process on real property. The way we correct an uninsured deed is by having all parties actually fill out and have notarized an uninsured deed affidavit and provide that to us as part of the title and curative process. What an uninsured deed affidavit does is it actually confirms that that deed that was recorded on the title was intentional and correct. The reason why we have to validate uninsured deeds is that the county doesn't actually check for the legitimacy of the deed or the notarization of a deed. It only is verified through title insurance. So for your protection, for your buyers, your sellers, and your borrowers protection, if something is recorded on the chain of real property without title insurance, we have to use the uninsured deed affidavit in order to verify that that deed was correct. Remember, we do this for your protection and everybody's protection. One of the reasons we have to verify these uninsured deeds is to ensure that someone wasn't signing under duress or there wasn't a forgery of a signature. Remember, the county recorders don't verify the legitimacy of the deeds. Only title companies do that. Without title insurance, there's no way to verify that. Again, that's why we have the uninsured deed affidavit. And I know I sound like I'm repeating myself. This is something that comes up over and over and over again. Why do we have to do this? It was recorded. I get it. It was recorded, but we have to verify the legitimacy for everybody's protection. So if you have any questions or if you're concerned that your chain of title or one of your client's chain of title might have an uninsured deed and this could cause a problem during the escrow process, please send an email. The title is boring at fnf.com along with the property address and we'll be able to take a look and see what it is we need to do in order to clear that title and make sure there aren't any uninsured deeds. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Title Minute. Be sure to subscribe and have a great day.